May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. April 10, 2024, Wednesday of the second week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then the high priest and all those who were with him, that is, the heretical sect of the Sadducees, rose up and were filled with jealousy. And they laid hands on the apostles, and they placed them in the common prison. But in the night an angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison and led them out, saying, Go and stand in the temple, speaking to the people all these words of life. And when they had heard this, they entered the temple at first light, and they were teaching. Then the high priest and those who were with him approached, and they called together the council and all the elders of the sons of Israel. And they sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the attendants had arrived, and upon opening the prison, had not found them, they returned and reported to them, saying, We found the prison certainly locked up with all diligence, and the guards standing before the door. But upon opening it, we found no one within. Then, when the magistrate of the temple and the chief priests heard these words, they were uncertain about them, as to what should happen. But someone arrived and reported to them, Behold, the men whom you placed in prison are in the temple, standing and teaching the people. Then the magistrate, with the attendants, went and brought them without force. For they were afraid of the people, lest they be stoned. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise shall be always in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised, let the meek hear and rejoice. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us extol his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and he delivered me from all my troubles. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Come to him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be confounded. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord shall encamp round about them that fear him, and shall deliver them. O taste, and see that the Lord is sweet, blessed is the man who puts his hope in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that all who believe in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world, in order to judge the world, but in order that the world may be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not judged. But whoever does not believe is already judged, because he does not believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and men love darkness more than light. For their works were evil. For everyone who does evil hates the light and does not go toward the light, so that his works may not be corrected. But whoever acts in truth goes toward the light, so that his works may be manifested, because they have been accomplished in God. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How does understanding God's love and the gift of Jesus change the way you see your life and your future? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. John 3 verse 16
We continue today to read from the conversation that Jesus had with Nicodemus, the Pharisee who ultimately converted and is venerated as one of the early saints of the church. Recall that Jesus challenged Nicodemus as a way of helping him to make the difficult decision to reject the malice of the other Pharisees and to become his follower. This passage quoted above comes from Nicodemus' first conversation with Jesus and is often quoted by our evangelical brothers and sisters as a summary of the whole gospel. And indeed it is. Throughout chapter 3 of John's Gospel, Jesus teaches about light and darkness, being born from above, wickedness, sin, condemnation, the Spirit, and much more. But in many ways, all that Jesus taught in this chapter and throughout his public ministry can be summed up in this short and to-the-point statement, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. This short teaching could be broken down into five essential truths. First, the Father's love for humanity, and specifically for you, is a love so deep that there is no way we will ever fully understand the depths of his love. Second, the love the Father has for us compelled him to give us the greatest gift we could ever receive and the greatest gift the Father could give, his own divine Son. This gift must be prayerfully pondered if we are to come to a deepening understanding of the infinite generosity of the Father. Third, as we prayerfully enter deeper and deeper into our understanding of this incredible gift of the Son, our only appropriate response is faith. We must believe in Him. And our belief must deepen, just as our understanding deepens. Fourth, we must realize that eternal death is always possible. It is possible that we eternally perish. That realization will give even greater insight into the gift of the Son, in that we will realize that the first duty of the Son is to save us from eternal separation from the Father. Lastly, the gift of the Son from the Father is not only to save us, but also to draw us to the heights of heaven. That is, we are given eternal life. This gift of eternity is of infinite capacity, value, glory, and fulfillment. Reflect today upon this summary of the whole gospel. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. Take it line by line, prayerfully seeking to understand the beautiful and transforming truths revealed to us by our Lord in this holy conversation with Nicodemus. Try to see yourself as Nicodemus, a good person who is trying to understand Jesus and his teachings more clearly. If you can listen to these words with Nicodemus and accept them deeply in faith, then you, too, will share in the eternal glory these words promise. Let us pray. My glorious Lord, you came to us as the greatest gift ever imagined. You are the gift of the Father in heaven. You were sent out of love for the purpose of saving us and drawing us into the glory of eternity. Help me to understand and believe all that you are and to receive you as the saving gift for eternity. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.